hi guys and welcome back to my channel happy 2023 <laughs> hope this year is treating you well may it be a fruitful one may it be according to the desires of your heart and also remember over to faith without action is zilch like equals to zero so have faith but put some action to it and yeah um to all the new viewers hi welcome i hope you like it here and you stay please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe if i really equal so the point of today's video you guys is um okay so i i i, I noticed how much of youtube I consumed like I'm um, leading up to our wedding like months and weeks leading up to our wedding I consumed a lot of YouTube and this was to get um, tips and tricks and um, I watched people's traditional weddings and stuff because that's what hubby and I were planning and it really came it was of good use so I thought let me do the same courtesy so here we are notebook and all you guys i have my notebook i'll keep referring to it so that um i i don't forget points basically okay let's get into the video <laughs> so um in terms of wedding planning you need to plan i've always heard when you don't plan you plan to fail and it's exactly that if you don't plan properly then nothing will go according to plan not that anything goes according to plan when it comes to wedding planning guys it doesn't because there's so many factors that go into it family finances suppliers your like just surroundings there's so much so um ultimately what what you do as much planning as possible as much as you can as much as um as much as you don't sacrifice your peace of mind basically so when i'm a planner really like anytime if there's a celebration of some sort or there's plans and my family my friends you know i'm there like i'm in it so even with my wedding i was like uh, I'll, I'll do the wedding planning myself and i did and i did out of a hundred i planned 70 percent of my wedding and we'll get into why i couldn't do the other 30. okay so first thing with weddings you must have a priority list so what is it that is important to you? Um, what is it that you are willing to compromise or leave out in order to make space or make way for the next thing? So on our list, we had a deco. Né? So at the deco, I got colors I wanted and then I spoke to my cousin and she was going to coordinate the whole thing because the wedding morning i wasn't going to be running up and down getting chairs and all of that so i thought no i'll hire my own person um no i'll hire chairs and tables and we'll get napkins and runners and we'll order flowers and do our own programs and stuff and that that was the case up till like a month before the wedding <laughs> up till a month before the wedding where i realized um one it's so time consuming number two it's a lot of okay so in our case we had found um people to supply us with the tables and chairs but then they from the east and then there's um people that are supplies with the programs as well as the um sitting plans and stuff and they're from the west so they charge their own delivery fees tables and chairs they charge their own delivery fees tents and stages and music equipment they charge their own delivery fees so masse when you combine all of that it doesn't make sense um because you could save quite a lot where delivery costs are like where logistics are concerned that is one so upon realizing that like a month before um god brought bmt decor to me <laughs> 
basically i remember we were just chilling on the couch now my hubby and i was on my phone and um an ad came up on facebook and it was of bmt no not bmt is it bmt i'll write the name but the company that we do my lunch is based on rudy port so um yes i came across the page and then i sent a whatsapp and she responded there and then and i kid you not her her prices were so reasonable another thing i noticed is that wedding planners are gullible as kiss ni selfish like okay maybe it's you making money guys but then my experience of it was like ogabana it's one thing for you to say no um it's 80k for this package and that's it but then i've done my research i know how much tables and chairs cost i know how much a tent to hire tent costs and things like that so with all of that with all of those calculations and then when you, know, you come with your exorbitant um amount i'm just like so it's not all of them but then yeah <laughs> if you're not hands on you'll get ripped off so with ubi dumelo i found ubi she, she when 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 with her pricing um she does it because she loves it she does it because the equipment is there like she's not trying to get you to buy the chair to use it and bring it back type of thing so her prices are very reasonable i found them to be very reasonable and the night that i spoke to udumi like i could breathe <laughs> i could breathe then after so um yeah with being hands on we bought table runners and napkins and we went up and down um looking at table mockups and stuff it was fun but it was also like a waste of like your petrols it's a waste of resources that could be used to do another project type of thing that's what i found and then um yeah so an angel by the name we do my law from Rodi Port I'll leave her details here came to our rescue and Yena she supplied everything and literally also um offered to do programs and she offered to print out table numbers as well as like welcome boards and a seating plan she offered to do all of that on my behalf and it's not something she should have done even with the price that she charges but then she did anyway and yeah she gave me so much peace of mind guys for then I'll forever remember you. <laughs> and then second on our priority list was clothing. So what the clothes guys like I need to write still, né? Cuz we paid quite a lot of money like for my dress in total it was 7000 rand. So with the dress I wore it a couple of hours and that was it. Like I'm still trying to figure out when we going to wear when am i going to wear my dress again um this wasn't a white wedding it was a traditional wedding and my dress was custom made so with that um we can alter it so that when you invite me to your wedding then i can wear it again but then man i'm just not willing to pack with the lace with the gorgeous lace at the bottom and all of that so i think have you i will do a photo shoot Yeah, I need this baby or something. I don't know, but I thought I still need to use like to get my money's worth of that dress and it's seemingly impossible. So, if you can hire, do hire. But then um it's also nice to wear something that's never been worn, to wear something that you always had like always imagined or dreamed of and just have it come to life anyway that and um I don't believe you can get that from high clothing but then each to what each to the own so yeah um also with okay and then our clothing says the low mom angel mom angel from Isindu Creations at um in town 
it's precedent i think it's troy and precedent street i leave the details as well on the screen great service lifesaver as well because we had been looking for tailors and people just kept ripping us off there was the one guy i found and um he we paid deposits and everything and then there was i had my bridal shower dress so i bought my bridal shower dress from shein and it didn't fit nicely um the zip wouldn't zip up so i just asked him to alter it a bit like on either side and he drew this he 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 he, he gave me this comfort and peace yoguti he's going to do it and told me how he's going to get more lace and all of that i just imagined it not even looking like it was altered and guess what it looked altered on the day of the bridal shower and we had issues with getting the dress because he said it would be ready on the thursday before the bridal shower the thursday comes i have to do the run around and be calling him and asking what's going on and now he'll, he'd be telling me stories about load shedding the whole day yaddy 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 and I didn't buy any of that. Hubby ended up having to go the morning of the bridal shower. Like whilst I was busy with my makeup and stuff, Hubby quickly went to town to get it for me. And with that, he still struggled and had to wait and stuff. And I was like, God, I am not playing with the sign. This guy, I'm letting go of. So, um, also he was unapologetic about the inconveniences. Like, um, you as like as a customer you would like i would tell him would you know you know what um this i didn't like and you're not calling to give me feedback i always have to be calling and when i do call it's excuses on excuses on excuses and not once did i get a i'm sorry um for the inconvenience of in uh uh mara big na load shedding mara in in and i was just like you know what this is a time from god I'm not going to let this guy ruin my day. So, um, one time we were on our way to town to meet another um, lady that's um, sewn dress for, uh, dresses for my siblings, my mom, hubby and I. And um, yeah, like she's good, but it's not great. So on our way, Habi said, no man, there's fashion district in town. Yes, it's fashion district. There's fashion district in town and those guys do like, they, they work is impeccable and it's just a group of designers. So I imagined YDE, <laughs> I imagined YDE and that's really what we got. So the service is impeccable and they, yeah, like they give you so much peace of mind, you guys. And that's exactly what you need on, um, during wedding planning so yeah here's a plug is into creations i leave mom angie's number and then with hair and makeup you guys i was like mina with my hair i know like i i i i i i i know like i can only i can do my hair like i was that confident and all of that and tell you what i was not happy with my hair on the day of the wedding um i think it's also because of some factors and other things that happened because like i said certain things you don't plan they just happen and you just find yourself in a pickle and you just really have to keep your head above water and that's exactly what happened with me and my dad's health and everything so yeah so my hair i ended up just doing it but not completely happy with the makeup i went for a makeup trial right yes i went for a makeup trial i was happy when so happy yeah her name is um happy and her um, instagram handle is dolled by happy so i was really happy with her work and i stalled with a payment for the wedding for the wedding day and um a week before i just thought no man she knows i'm getting married on the 19th of november so it's fine and it wasn't because when i called her she said no i have a commitment guy guy so i can't do it and we had to literally start over running around looking for makeup artists and you know what 
the day okay so the night of the wedding my big brother promised to make a plan for us and he really did like he did he came through for me and yeah <laughs> your wedding makeup you guys you must do a trial and with the trial it affords you to say mm -mm, I don't like this crease here I don't like the contour like this the highlight Mina that lady just boom highlight e eyeshadow yo guys but listen Lent Yabana with this time because we are still gonna have other celebrations this one is like nearly practice around and I know exactly what's what so yeah plan ahead pay ahead and another thing also with weddings do not like there's no shame in paying an installment like if you can afford something don't use Ilona don't use Ama loans and stuff rather lay by of which that's what we did like Ama rings we lay by them um in okay so Tina we paid on two installments but then the plan was we would, whenever we get money we're going to pay but then um thank god we were able to pay it off in two months but then my point on that is if you have to lay by or if you pay if you have to pay the supplier and money and money that's exactly what you need to do because that's also what we did with the deco lady so yeah there's no shame in doing that guys and it's nice to do your stuff debt free so now we did it um debt free and our family members were also of great assistance guys when i tell you we were surrounded by angels that's us we that blessed <laughs> and then what sound and lighting sound and lighting was okay sound and lighting was okay you guys but then also with the person that is um especially like what yeah sound and lighting the person that is um gingy, rendering that service to you you need to know what is it that you're paying for and all because with ours we just paid him and we the day went but then come 10 p.m ish he was done and when you'd ask no but okay yeah like he even had to beg him to like maybe leave a speaker and like a mixer because they like previous colleagues with hubby so and he just it was a dead no like my service has ended what what so ultimately the party the party if it is and that's yeah so you need to like have conditions and if you have to pay the balance after he's done then do that because yeah these people but then overall it was great and then also on the um, on the topic of sound and lighting if you can make provision for load shedding guys like load shedding like that two hours is a lot like when you within a wedding program and that we were affected by load shedding by the way um, for about two hours on the day and uh, like even with the program we just had to rush through it and then there was people that were leaving and um, yeah it, it just wasn't it wasn't cute like it wasn't nice so if you can get um, battery operated lights or like a generator as well as with sound get like bluetooth speakers and stuff so that that thing like that um mood is maintained throughout even though there's no electricity so yeah that's what that's another thing we wish we had known and then another thing on our priority list was cake cake i made cake myself from scratch and it turned out beautifully the only thing is um the stress leading up to the wedding in Gambo you have to make a cake yourself yeah so imagine with me i wanted to do yonki the like all the other wedding process the wedding planning process i wanted to do myself i wanted to do my cake i wanted to do my hair and it just it, it didn't work so i'm glad we um Kingi eventually delegated the deco aspect of things to um ubi dumelo but then yes um 
do as minimal take on as much stress as you can handle and um, Tina this was as much stress as we could handle and um, the cake came out beautifully exactly what I had imagined and we thank God <laughs> another thing we had on the day of the wedding was mobile toilets also at that um, it's such a small detail ne? but then it's so easy to forget it like um, I literally got um, oh, 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 I think it's cool, but I'll rank the details on the screen as well. Great service, great communication, like perfect. So with the lady, I spoke, I literally spoke to her on the Thursday before the wedding. Um, Thursday night before the wedding because I asked to do Melo to give me um, uh, her contacts or somebody and then she said no I found this on Facebook so contact them and luckily they were available the toilet was brought on time it was a his and hers VIP toilet I'll put a picture on here and impeccable service you guys so you need a mobile fridge um, but then with us, we did not get a mobile fridge because Ubi Dumelo was nice enough to include a food truck in her package here deco and on the food truck there's food warmers so um, my family actually cooked in the food in the food truck in the morning and they served from there as well when it was serving time which was great and then with ama juice and ama cold drink I still recommend a mobile fridge you guys because um, yeah you don't want to serve people warm drinks warm cold drink and warm juice but yeah um so i still recommend them over fridge even though with us we kept um the drinks in a in a in a in ice buckets and stuff and that worked to an extent um yeah and that also you avoid like missing cool drink and this person not getting cool drink or that one not getting juice or water and things cold drink juice water we bought in advance so like months in advance every time i find every time i'd see a special i'd buy so with like our juice it was those fruit tree cans and we bought them from um a cash and carry in town and then with the cool drink i bought from checkers because it was 154 a tray of 24 and also with that you need to overestimate the number of people so with each person tina we had planned they'll get juice water and um a bottle of cool drink which didn't really happen because extra people were there and but everybody i believe did get a refreshment but then yeah buy those in advance also we did not have a budget for alcohol and that is just us each to their own you guys but then tonight we did not have a budget for alcohol because hubby and i don't consume alcohol like that and then also the only alcohol that was in our budget was ama champagne of which we also got closer to the wedding and we looked at specials and stuff for toasts on the table which due to load shedding we ended up not really using and then there was people that took for themselves and yeah and also on that with the decor um, we actually had to pay extra money because um, after the wedding we had to pay we had to pop out extra money because there's people who decided to help themselves to candles on the tables as well as break glasses and stuff I think breaking of glasses and plates that's that's bound to happen I mean it's a social gathering but then things like it decor guys like yeah but then that's what we experienced and I found that very unpleasant but it is what it is <laughs> it is what it is and then groceries mm. yeah so with the groceries and the meat our family chipped in so much like we did not have to pay a dime um getting it towards that and then also with going back to planning you guys um initially my plan was with my family is going to sit back look pretty and relax but then 
things didn't work out as planned and um, my siblings and my aunts and my parents we my cousins like we like everybody had to um, it was teamwork at the end of the day and I'm glad it, 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 it the day turned out as beautiful and amazing as it did because if it hadn't been for them then it wouldn't have happened so it also goes back to support thank God for support um, thank God for support that's all I'm saying <laughs> Do not underestimate the cost of weddings. Guys, you know, we underestimated the cost of the wedding so much. And yeah, <laughs> we really did. And I feel like there's um, certain aspects that we omitted because of finances and um, that wasn't very pleasant. So do not underestimate the cost of weddings. Budget properly and then and in that way you can cut back on certain things like maybe take out and traveling because you know we traveled quite a bit last year and that budget could have gone into something um for the wedding but yeah <laughs> also with your suppliers you guys also with your suppliers pray for them pray for them mina i had a okay I'll, I'll put it on the side here i had a wedding journal and on the i had we do mello the phone number this is what they're doing and then i had um on diamond media and this is what they're doing and 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 with that list of people if i had a prayer like a prayer like a prayer a prayer thing a prayer list and i pray for them and i pray for people for for the wedding guests as well like may they not be may there not be accidents coming to and from the wedding may the people consuming the food not have diarrhea the next day you guys or like food poisoning and things like that and with the suppliers may they be timeous may they be um efficient may they stick to their word and deliver and just things like that so pray about it as well i think prayer got us through a lot and prayer also gave us a lot of peace of mind because after praying you feel like you've you've you've, sur you've surrendered to god basically another thing that we were advised to do and that i'm advising you to do is prioritize photography and videography not however much it costs but then find a good deal that works for you and your pockets and do it like do it it must be on the top of the list of your priorities and i'm seeing this now after the wedding like looking at our wedding pictures and then we kept on getting like we got our wedding pictures um five weeks after the wedding and then like six seven weeks we started getting like the highlight video which i'm going to put which i've posted yeah which i've posted for you guys already and um yeah and then um he's still to deliver the usb with the full video which we're not gonna um post till one year of our anniversary and that's just an agreement hubby and i did so even with that usb we're going to keep it in a safe like chuck it in a safe place and we're only going to view it a year from now and i know it's gonna be special and beautiful as much as i'm itching to watch it and see people's reactions and things they said and my what but you know what it can wait <laughs> it really can wait for what it's worth so um budget properly and also your honeymoon you guys your honeymoon please pay for it before the wedding like tina sends me we made a mistake of um leaving it up till after the wedding and i promise you after the wedding you guys your budget is is on zero like it's zilch like it's it's a minus and don don your budget after your wedding so also with your wedding planning book for your for um book for your honeymoon and pay for it before the wedding like that's exactly what we're doing also the next time we're having a celebration god willing we are going to um thingy we are going to send out invitations once most of the stuff like the major stuff is done like 
your decor, your just everything required to have a wedding and a good wedding. Once we've paid those, then we'll send out invitations and that'll give us peace of mind and just um it's gonna be stress-free in the sense that because also you send out save the dates, you save uh you send out invitations and you are still in the battle of um paying suppliers and finding suppliers and really just so it adds um the sending out invitations adds a lot of pressure which is what we did but now we are going to pay in advance like start planning pay in advance once that is done and we're comfortable maybe trip that just like my hair and our outfits and things like that then we can send out invitations otherwise before then i don't recommend it except if you wear nah, you want that pressure but I'm against it. Um, just in conclusion, I've heard people say, um, like Gingy, I've heard remarks like, uh, the wedding was so expensive, I'd never do it again. What, 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 Tina? We'd absolutely do it again. Absolutely. Like, it's such, it's, 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 it's stress that is worth it. It's a financial expense that is worth it. Like, that is you making memories with the love of your life. And remember, also just keep in mind, Uta, tomorrow is not promised. So, if God says yes in this condition now, then do it within each to their own would we do it again absolutely we're doing it again a trillion million thousand times we're doing it i really hope you enjoyed this one as much as i enjoyed just chatting up with you guys um please do like comment share and subscribe to the video i hope i didn't ramble the hulu but then till the next video of vlog thank you so so much may 2023 be everything you wish for and more and see you on the next video of vlog getting a fragrance that's an easy way to make a bitch go weak i could do us every day we're taking turns with the play want you to